I'm going to turn this recorder on, John. How's the health? <sighs> Better or worse? Same. <laughs> Can't get no medical help. Yeah. Still? Nope. What is... Uh, oh, let me read these to you real quick. Okay, today's the 20th of November, 2012. It's about 13-13. Case number is 90-5971. And just like last time, I'm going to read these to you again, just because you're here and I'm talking to you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you, can afford, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained? Yeah. Okay. So, last month, we talked a little bit, was it last month or the month before? Anyway, we were talking a little bit, and since then I've had an opportunity to, um, I think I talked to Linda right before I talked to you last time, and then I've managed to find pretty much everybody that was working up at the pass uh, with you uh, that lived up there around that time, so I've got a pretty good grasp on it. There's a couple things that um, I wanted to check with you on, and one of them is, and again, it's a long time ago, so if you don't recall, just tell me. Um, the yard manager up there at the time mentioned, actually, I think you, I think you retired shortly. I think you retired the December before Channy went missing, and he said that. Um, one time there was some damage done um, by Byron um, to right outside of Channy's door. Like he was trying to break in to undo the door or something. Do you remember that at all? You had called him because Byron had punched That was actually on his door. On? Byron's door. Oh, okay. Tell me what was, what was going on with Byron then? That's when he tried to hit Linda. He went run to his room. Okay. That's the time I spanked him. Okay. Well, did he punch it? Or yep. did he use something to hit it or anything like that? I guess he punched it with his fist. Okay. okay. But that wasn't Channing's room, that was his room. Byron's room. Can you tell? Can you tell me a little bit about Channy? Tell me about her personality. What kind of what kind of girl she was? I told you that last time. I understand you liked that she liked to go fishing. Yeah. Was she a froofy girl? A I what? mean, froofy girl. Did she wear makeup? Did she? Was she? You know. She wasn't old enough. Okay. Was she a smart girl. Do well in school. I believe so. Okay. I can't say for sure. That you'd have to ask Linda. Okay. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen any of either one of the report cards okay. on either one of them. All right. How long before she went missing had they been living back up on the pass with you? Because Linda moved away but then came back a short time later. No idea. Okay. Now the only picture I have, this is the only picture I have of her, is that pretty close to what she looked like when she went missing? Lisa. Is that a school picture, do you know, or any idea? No idea.
when um, the box in the back of your truck, you took it out uh, so people could fit in the back of your truck. I think is what you told me last time. We had it in there for a while. Right. And then, uh, I don't know when we took that, took it out. But we had a lot of people in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Where would that have, where would you have put that box? Right there in the carport. Anywhere else it would have could have been. No, because when we got through searching, we put it back in the truck. Okay. But that was probably a week. It was in there probably a week. State police checked it out. Okay. And you were right. Beck does have a parole hearing coming up, but it's not in October. It was it was scheduled for December, like you said, but it got moved out a couple months later. So he does have that going on. Have you applied yet? No. Are you going to? I don't know. With my health the way it is, mm -hmm. I believe I would be a total burden on my sister. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't move around. I can't even go down and take a shower. Yeah. I can go down. Can't get back up. But I can't get back up. It's got a little ramp. And with my lungs the way they are, the doctor at the hospital put me on a little puffer and a Advair. Yeah. Vargo took the puffer away. Who did? Vargo. Who's that? Dr. Vargo. Oh. Dr. Death. Okay. See a doctor here? Unfortunately. Oh, I see. But uh, when I go to come back up the ramp, I can't can't breathe. And you know, I dang near pass out, but he says I wasn't using enough and he says use every six hours or as per needed. And I was using it two, maybe three times a day. Oh. But to save money here, he took it away. Hmm. And that's the only medic. That's the only doctor here. They got three doctors: Doctor Vargo, which sees me; Doctor Dagner, and Doctor Hansen. Vargo, I believe, is a quack. Yeah, he made. He, he was a good doctor a long time ago. But now all you think of is saving money. Is it just luck of the draw? Who gets who as a doctor? By your SID number. I see. I see. My foot swelled up in February this year. Mm -hmm. He looked at it and then he said, don't worry about it. You'll get better. It has not gotten better. It's gone down a little bit, but I can barely walk on it. My back has got five collapsed discs. He says, don't worry about it. It'll get better. Does it matter? No. Huh. When was the last time you saw your sister? Did she come and visit you? Linda again? came in last weekend. Okay. Our name's traveling right now. I, mean, I think last time that we talked, I was going to, next time we saw Linda, you are going to ask her if it would be okay if I talked with her. Did, did you mention anything? Yeah. <laughs> You know, all three of us kids grew up believing that police officers never lied to you. And, you know, my mom was a police matron. Mm -hmm. With Salisbury and McNulty, we learned very differently. Then we learned how the court system was. You know, my attorney kept trying to bring up evidence. And the DA and the and the judge kept shutting him down. 
uh, DA, the DA went to lunch with the jurors. That ain't supposed to happen. But when the attorney tried to bring that up, he was shut down. So I have no respect at all for the law officers or judges in the whole court system. My sister says the same thing, both of them, and my nephew. We've seen how it is, you know. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I told you last time I was going to be honest with you. Yeah. And you can take that for what it's worth. And, you know, this is one of those situations where, you know, I wasn't there to begin with. I'm here now, and I'm, you know, sorting through stuff to kind of try to figure things out. So, <clears throat> you know, the, mo the more help I can get, the more clearer picture I get. Whether or not that's going to, you know, be a clearer picture for the good or a clearer picture for the bad, yeah. you know, I don't know. Um, the only person that really knows is the person that did it. Did it. And but see what gets me, y'all. Y'all keep looking at me. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent tons of money looking for Channy. You know, we went all over the, the countryside. You know. Yeah. Well, chances I are I would still be looking for her today if I was out. Well, you know, it, I know it'd be a ridiculous thing to do, but you know, she was in my care. And I let her down. For that, I blame myself totally. Well, I mean, and I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you where I'm at. You know, I think, I think this case is going to is going to progress. Um, and and the reason I'm here today is because last time I told you I was going to be honest with you. So and that's what I'm doing. And looking at everything, talking to everybody that that lived up there, up there on the pass, and so forth. I mean, it's still. You're not thinking about the the prior um, judgments or decisions that was made by, you know, Severance, McNulty, or Salisbury. It all boils down to, I don't work for those guys. I don't work for uh, the person I worked for was Channing. You know, something bad happened to her. And the prosecution is going to progress in this, and chances are, not including not including Chami, but just with why you're here. I mean, the odds are you're probably not going to get out, right? Probably die. Doctor downtown gave me a year. Yeah, I've gone two years now. Right. But I, you know, got a little bit worse. Yeah. And you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think. You know, I don't. I, I'm not a bad person. I'm not saying you are. I know. And and just because I come to the decisions I come to, does not make me a bad person or a bad individual. It's the information that we have and that we we proceed with with the information we have. So. Um, like I told you last time, I'm going to be honest with you, shoot straight from the hip. Um, this is probably going to go to a prosecution, probably a grand jury, um, to see what's going on, uh, see if they'll issue an indictment. Um, but the question is, um, you know, for example, hypothetically, um, let's say um, that the person that did something to Channy um, was already in prison. Not necessarily you. But this person's already in, in prison and probably never going to be out. That person probably knows where she's at. Um, and, you know, there's always, there's always the ability to, um, you know, sometimes in, in ex if somebody's approached, it's in a facility like this with an opportunity to 
you know, whether it be, you know, get out and spend Thanksgiving or Christmas with their family in exchange for showing us the location of a body, that can be done and that can be arranged. Well, you know, back when I was arrested, they approached me with a deal. I'd serve 20 years total if I confessed to Kay Turner and Channing. Mm -hmm. Like I told my lawyer, I would confess in a heartbeat if I did either one of them. I am totally innocent. And I'll say that until the day I die. What about the other ones? What other ones? The other ones. What you talking about? Talking about some other people that are that are dead up in that area. Oh, now you're trying to lay some others on me. No, I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you. I have never killed anybody in my life. Okay. I thought about it, but I've never done it. Do you remember, you remember having a conversation in the shop about Germany? It's a guy that's pretty specific that he heard you talking to Jim Short about shooting a female in the head in Germany. No. So he's lying? The only person I ever hurt was in Thailand. I was riding a bike, coming up to the Air Force Base. He jumped out and cut me with a straight razor. I shot him in the leg with a twenty two. He's alive. Like I said, I've never killed nobody. What about comments that were made up at the pass, you get frustrated or something, you say you got to go kill something. Is that directed just at birds or? No. No? I don't ever remember saying that. You don't? Okay. So there's more than one person that heard you say that. I have no idea. So you don't know where she's at? Is that what I wish saying? I knew. No, I think you did. No. I mean, we're really, I mean, we're really, to that point, I told you last time I'd be honest with you. Not being honest with you. But I'll tell you what. Since you said this is going to go farther, I will have my sister get me an attorney. And we are done now. Okay. You have a good day. Okay. If you change your mind and want to show me, let me know.